This is the instructions for the assignment called the senior speech, and it happens to be an informative senior speech this semester for English 12 and CAP English 101. The objectives uh, from the Common Core State Standards present information, findings, and supporting evidence conveying a clear and distinct perspective such that listeners can follow the line of reasoning, alternative or opposing perspectives are addressed, and the organization, development, substance, and style are appropriate to purpose, audience, and a range of formal and informal tasks. Make strategic use of digital media in presentations to enhance understandings of findings, reasoning, and evidence, and to add interest. And adapt speech to a variety of contexts and tasks, demonstrating a command of formal English when indicated or appropriate. So those are the common core reasons that we do the speech the common sense reason is that you should be able to not dread a public speaking uh, assignment or occasion. And so in your real life, you may come across instances where uh, you need to say a few words in front of people, and it should be something that you're used to being able to do in an organized and appropriate way. So our audience, uh, our purpose, of course, demonstrate competent speaking skills. And in this one, to share information. The audience are the members of the class itself and anybody else that happens in. It could be an administrator, maybe another adult, maybe other students, whoever happens to be in the room. For this speech, you're going to prepare index cards with notes on them and speak from those, which means you'll have just little reminders on the cards of what you want to say. You're not going to write the speech out and read it. That's not what we want to do this time. There are separate instructions for both English 12 and CAP English 101, and I'll go over them both here. So for English 12, that's periods four and seven. In no less than three minutes and no more than five minutes, you're going to teach us something. Your topic can be information you know or have learned, a skill or task you know how to do, or even something you just find interesting that you think others should know about. These can be anything that, you've, that you're into, anything that you're passionate about. It could be skateboarding, it could be cars, it could be sports, it could be uh, other hobbies that you have, or it could be something from school that you're interested in, like biology or um, math. Anything at all in three to five minutes that you can teach us. So you wanna think about your audience, the people in the room. If all of you are in the same classes, maybe you don't wanna pick something that you already know that you go to class for, but try to think of something that you find interesting and that you know about that other people might not. You can use a visual with this speech if you want to, but you don't have to. And if you do use a visual, actually, it will give the audience something else to focus on other than you. For CAP English 101, your speeches are no less than five minutes and no more than seven minutes, and you're basically presenting your paper. You're gonna speak about the difference your stance on your research topic makes in our lives. You're going to give us your topic, your choice of the side of the issue that you wrote about, and some of the most important points, basically your outline that you have as the first page of your paper. Be sure to cover the point of your paper, which is your thesis. How are our lives better or different because of your position on that issue? And again, you will have a visual. Um, it isn't gonna move though. It's not gonna be a video. It's not gonna be a PowerPoint. It's gonna be a picture or a map or graph or even a little collage of things and you can refer to it and point to it, but you're not, it's not gonna be a PowerPoint that you read from. Uh, we don't have anybody this semester in both classes, so we don't have to worry about that. And then uh, here's the procedure. So you wanna think about what you wanna say. You're gonna write out some notes. I have lots of free index cards and I can get some more. And there's no set number, no required number of cards. I am going to collect your cards when you're done speaking, though, so that I make sure that your speech matches what you have on your cards. I don't want anybody just getting up there and winging it for five minutes. So you want to practice your speech several times before the actual day so that you are used to saying things out loud, and also you can work on the timing. There's going to be no swearing or slang. This is a formal speech, so it's not stand-up comedy time. It's not time to wing it. Okay, This is a formal speech. You also want to dress for success. No t-shirts with printing on them, words or, or pictures, nothing too low cut, 
and just make sure that you've made an effort that day. You don't have to dress up like it's game day or, or church or anything. It's just a, a look presentable from, from the neck up kind of thing or from the, you know, the chest up. Be ready. Be in class and ready to speak when it's your turn and you'll have a schedule soon. Anybody who's absent for any reason will be the very first person to speak on the next day that we see them. And this is not optional. You can't take a zero on this assignment without the speech. You get an incomplete for the course. All speeches are recorded on video so that I can grade them later. And so you can watch them and see how, uh, how it went because it's very difficult to assess your own speech while you're giving it. The rubric is on the uh, next little screen here. And um, this is a 200 point assignment. So let me just make my screen a little bigger. And this is the speech rubric. So we're going to look at how to explain uh, how you explain your ideas and your information. In other words, the flow. Now in a four point rubric, it's different than a five point rubric. In a four point rubric, what I've assigned is generally somewhere in the three to four range. The four is generally more than I've asked for. The three is generally uh, what I've asked for. But remember, three out of four is a 75. So you're really going to have to stretch in each little area to make sure that you uh, get the grade that you're looking for. Let's look at a little bit more of it here. So in the three column, prevents, presents information in a way that is mostly clear, concise, and logical. The audience can follow the line of reasoning, but not easily. Now, obviously, we want them to be able to follow it. So if you look over here, audience can very easily follow the line of reasoning. That's more what we're looking for. Over here under explanation of ideas and information, selection, development, and style, selects information, develops ideas, and uses a style appropriate to the purpose, task, and audience. I would say that's what I've assigned. And if you do more than that, in a sophisticated style, then that is more points. Meets all requirements for what should be included in the presentation. That's what I've assigned. If you go up above and beyond that, um, then that would be more points. Has a clear and interesting introduction and conclusion. I would love that. Uh, we would like it even more if it were insightful and interesting. Um, organizes time well. No part of the presentation is too short or too long. And so that is... Uh, the two times that I gave you earlier on the top of the sheet. Um, extremely well, no part of the presentation feels too short or too long. That's different than isn't too short or too long. So it has to do with how interesting you make it and how much your audience is able to pay attention. Eye contact, only glances at notes, um, natural gestures and movements. I'm not asking you to be unnatural and, and you know, hold your hand out or or make gestures that aren't natural. So uh, you'll see in examples how that works. Looks poised and confident, wears clothing appropriate for the occasion, speaks clearly, not too quickly or too slowly, uh, speaks loudly enough for everyone to hear, rarely uses filler words, and this is very difficult to do. I often use many, uh, you'll hear me say ah uh, uh, a lot because I'm looking for a word or I'm pausing. But what you want to do is make sure that you've practiced your speech enough times that you don't need them. And then, of course, adapt speech for the context and task. So if you've got a very somber subject, you're not joking through it. If you've got a very um, upbeat subject, you're not monotone, things like that. Okay, so that is the assignment sheet and rubric for the senior speech this fall um, in first semester.